Now at 5.30, if you're faced with dozens of moths when you get home at night, well, you're not alone. Yeah, they are everywhere. We found out there has been a bloom in population this year. Meteorologist TJ Del Santo joins us now with more on why there's more moths around. New at 5.30. Who hasn't been bombarded with moss the past couple of weeks? Unfortunately, there's not a whole bunch you can do right now, but you can in the spring for next fall. They are a nuisance to us, but they're dangerous to trees. Winter moths have invaded Rhode Island, and the numbers keep growing. They're an invasive species. We didn't used to have them in Rhode Island. We started seeing them in the early 2000s. They're originally from Europe. While they're in their caterpillar stage, they are voracious eaters. There was a tenfold increase in the amount of defoliation that happened due to the winter moth caterpillars last spring. That's 27,000 acres defoliated this year. As a rule of thumb, after a tree is defoliated three years in a row, that tree could die. Recent mild temperatures certainly have them active. The males are the ones that fly. The females don't fly, but instead climb into tree trunks to lay their eggs. Sort of, they'll go up to the top of the tree. What could be done? It's too late to put tree bands up. That needs to be done by mid-November. Any action will have to wait until the spring. If you're going to put on a dormant oil, you'd want to do it you know, late March or early April. An insecticide called BT could be used in April or early May to kill the winter moth larvae and caterpillars. They're really just a nuisance. There's nothing to be done for them, and they'll be gone by the end of the month. Scientists released a parasitic fly into the environment to go after those caterpillars. It's going to take a little while for the fly numbers to go up so that the winter moth numbers go down. In the weather yard, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.